So here's a quick tip. About every 100 hours or so, I check to see if bubbles or air has entered my hydraulic system for my brakes. So ultimately all I do is basically open up the bleed port. In this case, it's the Shimano. I insert the reservoir cup, put a little bit of oil in it, and then just press the brake lever in and out, in and out to see if any air that might be trapped in here that accumulated in the system or was originally in the system uh, will come out and replace it with fluid. Very simple job. Tools you'll need in this case is a Allen wrench, a 2.5 Allen wrench for Shimano bleed ports, a reservoir uh, canister, and obviously bleed oil. So, and alcohol and paper towels. So for starters, I'd like to get the actual lever. I don't want to disassemble it or loosen it, so I try and put the bike on an angle uh, in some way or form. In this case, I have it on my bike stand and I just have it angled upwards to try and get the lever as level as possible, or at least the bleed port on the lever as level as, as possible, right? So then, we undo the bleed screw. Watch out for the rubber washer make sure it doesn't stay up you see the rubber washer in this case is stuck inside you don't want to damage this i'm going to put this back onto the screw because your reservoir should come with its own rubber washer for a rubber seal just like that right so then we take this guy in here screw him in make sure he's in securely so let me get rid of this guy Make my life a little bit easier. Make sure you don't thread them always by hand. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, so basically, we're just gonna put a little bit of oil in here. Not much. There we go. Open up the reservoir port. Let me see if, yes, I am in frame. All right. And right off the bat, a bubble came out. A little one, but... And then we just... Yep, there you go. Two bubbles. Three bubbles. Okay. That's looking much better. See how bubbles build up? Or they never came out when you first bled it? So now, this seems to be good. All right. So we're going to take our plug, shake it first in there, then plug the hole, and then we're going to remove the reservoir port. Now one thing I don't like about the Park Tools mineral oil bleed kit, it doesn't have a cup for the reservoir port. So that sort of sucks. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. And basically we just put in our screw. And we are good to go. So now we're gonna do the front brake. So once again, we open up the screw. Fortunately, I don't have my camera mounted on a very solid base. Watch out for the rubber ring once more time. Make sure it stays on this screw. Go to the side. Take the reservoir. in here open it up squeeze the handle yep there's a little bubble there's another little bubble look at that and that is it we are good to go. So now we close it back up. Unscrew it. Ooh, watch it, don't drop it. Actually, what you can do is, is top it off just a little bit by adding a drop. There we go. And we 
take our screw and close it back up. And there you go. And here we just spray it down, a little bit of alcohol, clean it up. Sorry for the shakes. Again, I should have put the camera on a more stable base. It's actually hooked up to the bike seat. Yep, so essentially, works for ultra metal brakes like this, any mineral oil brake really. Um, same process for hydraulic uh, dot brakes, dot fluid brakes. I haven't reached anywhere near 100 hours on uh, a couple of my bikes that have them. So uh, I'll make a video on a SRAM brake system for the same process using the syringes. You just need one syringe for it. Uh, well worth your time once again. So again, you should do this every 100 hours or a good, really good time to check it really is if you keep up with your uh, forks and shock maintenance 50 hours I would just check them every 50 hours but these you don't have to check them for at least I'd say about 100 hours but it's a simple job you could check it every 50 hours right or if you feel like something's wrong then you could check it again so or you could check it at that point in time like I said it only takes a couple of minutes and it is worth it it will improve your braking tremendously because I guarantee you over time whether mineral oil or dot fluid your brakes will accumulate a bubble or two or a little bit of air within the system so hope that helps you out like subscribe dislike twice please and um we will see you in the next video have a great day take care bye